with 2023 wrapping up, let's take a look at my favourite magical space visits. The January rave was interesting. Oh, I need my special drink. This wave, of course, was just another Evo wave, but obviously it was our last one we were getting. The ninja suits for this wave were just uh, plain old basic ones from the last wave, except Lloyd, because he's the green ninja and everything, so of course he's going to get the good one. The standout step to me was called Earth Dragon, because it's been over a decade since we've got one. And let's not even talk about his Skybound Dragon. Oh, just just make me itch for this even more. J-Mech is very innovative and so unique, and it kind of reminds me of an anime mech. Not with the Lilo, looking at those dragons' heads, they look like they've inhaled at least 5,000 tons of meat. I love how we've got a mech bike though. Right, Ghost Rider got one, now Flash got one, so yeah, it's great. The two little nine dollar sets for the wave up, nah, whatever. And I love the brick box. Man, we need something like this again. Like, this, I feel like this will do a really good job of getting new fans to Ninjago, like bringing new fans to Ninjago. Overall, the sets were pretty good, but no TV show. What the hell? Yeah guys, I'm an alcoholic now. Like, 2023 has a new great year for Ninjago, so I'll become an alcoholic. Last year, in 2022, we got a March rave. Yeah, we didn't get that this year. Oh, in 2021 we got a March rave. Yeah, we still didn't get that this year. What the hell's going on? Well, at least it's a March rave this year. Wait, wait. backwards so i had to protect myself from this demented dragon so i picked myself up some holy water please don't hurt me well this abomination is a story for another day time to talk about the june sets for the Ninjago. the ninjago dragons rising wave for june is okay i'll give you my honest opinion on it why the I could say it, Al was complaining about the Ninjago Dragon's Rising Wave, but I don't want to develop hemorrhoids just sitting here. Obviously with this wave we got the spinners back, that's great. Obviously they came with their Spinjitsu Bowls. Four plus sets are actually okay, not the worst, but they're not exactly great, which is why this set right here is on discount right now. 30% off, I admit the Imperium dog thing, whatever this is supposed to be, is a pretty cool set, especially for the price, 100% would pick this up, yeah. Is that a Transformer? I want to say this is a great set and who doesn't love giving, you know, furries a, a transforming vehicle, you know? A Dragon, honestly one of the best Ninjago Dragons ever, like, this, this is dope, this is worth stealing. And we have another bounty, honestly I really like the colour scheme on this one and yeah, it's not bad. I mean, sure, it's another bounty, it's like a 5 billion bounty already and it always breaks in the show, but yeah, this, one, this one's alright. The suit designs for this wave are pretty poggers, I guess. We got a TV show this time. Yes. We didn't get one in January, unfortunately. The only problem is, I did not like the TV show either. The basic premise of the season is, many legendary realms have suddenly combined into one, but their union is unstable. A Spinjitsu Ninja Master must train a new generation of heroes to help find elemental dragons who can save the planet before the forces of evil use the same dragon energy to destroy the new world. Let's start with the pros of the season. Personally, the animation was amazing, flawless. I love the Spinjitsu animation and the elemental power animation. Yeah, they always nailed that. And the soundtracks in it were brilliant. But that's all I can think of. Generally though, I would have kept the main ninja as the main characters, because you know, obviously now Sora and Aaron are the main characters. Which is not a change I would have taken. So yeah, maybe I'm just, you know, I want my OG bros and that, but I'll admit the first part of Dragon's Rising kind of feels like a movie because we're getting it from the narrative of Aaron. Overall, if you like Dragon's Rising, there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah, that was 2023. Yeah, it's done. Thank heaven. 2024, I'm sure, will be much better for Ninjago, I I would hope. Overall, in my personal opinion, I'd say it's definitely one of the worst years for Ninjago, if not the worst year. <sighs> the January wave is much better than the June wave, in my opinion. And this TV show was just disappointing. And 
not very enjoyable and kind of just boring. Now. But we'll have to see what season two is like. Now, I'm gonna get my bell because it turns out everyone in your family is not subscribed. I'll fix that right now. I'm probably gonna get cancelled when this video drops for all the jokes I've said, so. Yeah. Hit that button.